September 22nd, 2020. We're in Decatur, Georgia. This is our van. It's a 2014 Nissan high top. And we're insulating and decorating the interior. And the first thing we did was put in a floor. The floor goes is uh, removable. It's a sandwich of plywood and, and one inch styrofoam that's cut to fit the wheel wells and so forth. And it's in removable section. So you can get a What's underneath it if you need to. Then we put a layer of this uh, Brazilian foam rubber padding mini cell 200. You get this from uh, foamfactory.com. We do. And then this is a 6x9. Uh, bamboo mat, rug, whatever. Time you cut it out to fit all these contours, and then we we did the the uh, hem, whatever you call that edge of the carpet. And that's the floor. This had all these shelves here down on the floor. We took all these, there were three of these big gray shelves in there. And we took two of them out and re raised one up. We took the, we took the uh, aluminum rail that was on the floor and mounted it down here so this shelf can be up off the ground. And then we made these, uh, 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 Tanya designed these and I made it, figured out how it actually worked. And she, she made most of them and put this bamboo wallpaper, they're all removable with different sizes and styles of magnets on the back so that if you want to get to what's behind, you can easily do that. Here's, a, here's an interesting we We used a lot of magnets and we have fun with magnets so we know now if you ever want to store your if you ever want to store your miniature vice grips in a convenient place all you need is a little rectangular magnet. So Anyway, we did the, all these wall panels. <coughs> and then we did the ceiling. Hold on, let me get the wall panels. So all this. Okay. Okay, we did all these wall panels, and like I said, these are all removable. They're held on with magnets. Then we did the ceiling while we're doing this. We're almost done. And with these are just some edge pieces, a two by four, I think. When we built the shed and back, the guy that had built the kit had these left over so we're using these there are beams structural members in the roof and the ceiling holding up the roof and we just drill to each place drilled into there and put a screw to hold this up to. these come in four by six sheets so we had to make sure that they were this, where the sheets meet or up underneath here. So I think that's a, 
about it for the interior what we did. We had to take down all the wire and up underneath here. And again, these aren't as easy to remove as if you had a, the magnets, but we didn't figure the magnets would be strong enough that you can just undo a couple of screws to get at the ceiling. Then we we got this big battery. This is a 24 volt, supposedly a couple hundred amp hour batteries. A BYD, it's the largest battery manufacturer in the world. I think Warren Buffett is a big wheel or was. And it right now, so then we have uh, several charging systems. We have the components, we've tested them out, wired them up in the house and everything works. This thing is putting out about 25 volts. It's used but It was like one fifth of the cost of a new one, and it's rated it. I don't know how many years this thing's supposed to last. A bunch. These were all in a big trailer, hundreds of, of dozens and dozens of them all mounted in racks. And they were taking them apart and selling them, and then after I bought this one, I had seen on eBay that they're Well, you can stop. 